All right. Well, I just found this hilarious. You know, Joe Biden, <laughs> his campaign is kind of worried. Uh, this is on Facebook here. And look, don't scroll away just yet. This is important. We've been saying recently that our internal polls are showing a much, much closer race than the media would have you think. Of course, because <laughs> Biden can't even speak in a full sentence. <laughs> now we're seeing a few public polls also say this is going to come down to the wire. And here they're even showing Trump beating Biden, oh my goodness, in a Biden ad. And so uh, <laughs> I was looking at the comments on some of these. I decided to comment. I'm Rusty Becker. I, I think the rallies tell a better picture. Biden gets 20 people, half of whom are media. He can't speak in full sentences, and he has the Alzheimer's stomp. I'm voting for Kanye. <laughs> and then this little, uh, what do you call it, chat window pops up here. Thanks, Rusty, for engaging with Joe's post. And here you see, Joe Biden is active now. I'm sure he is. <laughs> Rusty, thanks for engaging with Joe's post. Can you answer a few quick questions to help Joe's campaign? And uh, they give you, uh, I wish I would have actually recorded it because they give you answers. Sure thing, not right now, whatever. And so, okay, sure thing, great, thank you. Have you committed to vote for a presidential candidate in November? I said, yeah, I'm committed. Got it. If you're willing to share, which candidate are you supporting? Oh, and I replied to Joe Biden. Here you go. <laughs> I'm going to vote for Kanye West. Sorry, Rusty. I can't tell what you mean. <laughs> oh, which candidate do you, do you commit to? Or which candidate are you committed to? I just told your stupid AI, Kanye West. Anyway, so I just put not willing to share it this time because the only ones that it would recognize were Donald Trump, Joe Biden are not willing to share. And so they wind up saying down here at the bottom, which is kind of out of the screen, says, no worries, we respect your privacy. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. Ah. Yeah, I think the point is here that no one can take it for granted that Biden will win even though so many indicators seem to imply that he will. Like, which indicators? The 20 people that he'll get at a rally? <laughs> Half of whom are media? I mean, this is just crazy. And I honestly don't even know if I'm going to vote for president. Uh, I'm definitely not voting for Biden, but the deal breaker for me on Trump is Operation Warp Speed and him openly saying that he's going to use the military to administer a vaccine, which I am fully opposed to. Uh, I am, I'm just downright opposed to that. So, ah, oh, yeah, strange times we live in. And, you know, I, I heard Kanye on the Rogan podcast. And if you make it through, you know, or even just forward it to the last five or ten minutes of the conversation, and if only everyone would be as thoughtful and heartfelt as the answer that he gives there at the end to... Uh, what would he do being the commander-in-chief of the world's greatest military, say, if China invades Taiwan or whatever? You should all go listen to Kanye's answer. It was actually really good. And I wasn't even considering Kanye. I mean, I, I've i never been a fan of his. You know, I I don't know. I haven't really listened to his music. I don't really know much about him other than he's Kanye West and 
I know there's been some questionable things uh, that I really don't like about some of his music and some of the things that he's said in the past, but uh, I found it to be a really good interview, and especially the last five to ten minutes were really good. I do think the interview gets better towards the end, and um, yeah, so why don't you check out what he has to say if you're not liking either one of these other candidates. So, who knows, that's not an endorsement or anything, just go listen to what the guy has to say. Alright, everyone, have a great night, and uh, hope you got a little laugh out of this. <laughs> I certainly did.